If we look at a tyre on a car, let's say that this is a cross section through a wheel. So this is the actual wheel itself, this is the tyre here. If we consider this first case here, this is just the car sitting on the ground. The tyre is sitting at a relatively normal point and it's just going to be going along. If we turn and apply a lateral force on the bottom of the tyre here, it's going to pull the bottom of the tyre across, giving us this. Now, as the tyre is rolling along, you're pulling over each bit of the tyre again and again and again. It keeps going. So the result of this is, is that as the tyre is deflecting through a corner, this tread at the bottom is going to actually see a differential angle to your wheel. So you'll turn into a corner, and let's say you turn your wheel 5 degrees, the tyre may only be turning effectively on the ground 3 degrees. And this is the concept of a slip angle, and it's a good measure of how your deflection in your tyre is related to everything. Let's have a look at what we can do with it. For suspension designers, it's usually best to explain your lateral grip as a function of your slip angle, because that will be roughly constant for any given tyre in a given normal load situation. So, we can see from that graph that I was showing you before that we were relating our force to our deflection, and what shape did the curve get? That. Now, because our alpha is roughly related to our deflection, we can imagine that this is the curve for a tyre. Now this bit here, we can see is the point of peak grip, which corresponds to a peak slip angle. And this is what suspension design is all about. You want to optimise your slip angles for peak grip. Obviously driver skill and ability comes into factor on it, but this is what we aim for. Another thing that's interesting to see here is, is that for the same level of grip that's below peak grip, there are actually two cornering conditions in which you can end up in the same area. Both are two very different slip angles, particularly if you were to get lower down the line like this. This is why things like drifting can still work and get around corners. Now the important thing to note here is that we're looking at a deflection and a force here. So we can think of the area under the curve as energy being put into the tyre. So if you drive on this side of the curve, you're going to put less energy into the tyre. If you drive over here, you're going to put more energy into the tyre. Now, what does this equate to? Tire temperatures. If you're driving on this side, you're going to be getting those tires hotter. You're probably going to overheat them if your car's not set up for that. If you drive here, you'll keep them cooler. Notice, both have the same lateral grip, even though this will result in a dramatically higher slip angle.